What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So today when it comes to watchOS, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple has released a new watchOS update and it's watchOS 10.6.1. But you can see right here on my Apple watch, I'm not seeing this update. And the reason for this is that I haven't yet updated my iPhone to the latest iOS version. So for you, in order to see the update, you need to make sure that your iPhone is updated to the latest iOS 17.6.1 that also got a new release with a new build number today. And at the same time, you won't be able to see watchOS 10.6.1 if you are on an update like iOS 18 and watchOS 11 because you will be on a newer update with newer build. But just to show you some other updates that Apple released alongside this, you can see August 19, 24, Apple released iOS and iPadOS 17.6.1 today and they released tvOS 17.6.1 alongside watchOS 10.6.1. Now I will have to update my iPhone right now in order to get the update and then I'll show you how it comes in. Now that my other device is up to date you can see now on my Apple watch right here if I go into settings and then go to the software update page I'm able to see watchOS 10.6.1 and on my Apple watch it comes in at exactly 142 megabytes and at the same time if you want to update over your phone using over the air method you are able to do this so let me quickly do that and then we're going to see the software changes and some of the new features that this update has to offer. So just like that, as you can see, my watch is now up to date. And now if we go into our settings and then go to where it says about, you can see we are up to date on watchOS 10.6.1 with this new build that is 21U580. And that is the current latest build for watchOS 10.6.1. Now, in terms of the new features and changes that this update has to offer, there actually isn't much. And since this is very closely related to iOS 17.6.1, this actually fixes a very big issue when it comes to Fitness Plus. If you are a subscriber for Fitness Plus, there was an issue where on iOS 17.6, it wouldn't allow you to access fitness plus and that issue has been resolved on the iphone and the same is also true on the apple watch because when trying to update the apple watch to watch os 10.6.1 from watch os 10.6 the pop-up screen that tells you about the update size and everything will also tell you that hey this update fixes an issue that has to do with fitness plus where certain people might not be able to access fitness plus and keep in mind that there's uh, specific countries and regions where fitness plus is actually supported so you can see this is apple's newsroom page about fitness plus and it's available in these select countries and regions such as australia austria brazil canada colombia france germany and so on so if it's not supported in your country or region irregardless of whether you update or not if it's not supported it's not something that you are going to have access to even though you update your watch to the latest watch os 10.6.1 so it's very important to keep in mind or check whether fitness plus is available in your country and region now another thing that apple mentions that this update fixes is that it has some bug fixes and security improvements and that is according to the update page as well and you can see right here when it comes to the apple security releases for watchOS 10.6.1 here it mentions that there is no or this update has no published cve entries which means there is no common vulnerabilities and exposures that have been released alongside this and unfortunately the same is also true when it comes to the other updates that were released today such as tvos 17.6 iOS and iPadOS 17.6.1, they also have no CVE entries that Apple is disclosing publicly at this point in time. But this doesn't go to, or this doesn't definitely mean that there isn't any 
patches when it comes to security updates for this update apple could at some point in time disclose what it is that has been patched when it comes to this update the apple watch on watch os 10.6.1 and the iphone on ios 17.6.1 do have some resolved bugs in the background that they resolve for example on the iphone this update fixes an issue that had to do with advanced data protection that wasn't working properly and that has been fixed and at the same time standby mode 2 has been fixed on ios 17.6 and it also carries over to 17.6.1 as there is no issue with standby mode so basically this is how watchOS 10.6.1 is on my apple watch um, keep in mind that i just updated a few minutes ago and since this is a point of a point of an update i do know that it doesn't have so many things that it has to offer not a lot of changes it's more of a stability and a bug and security patch update now a lot of people were asking you know how is battery life on this device this is uh, a backup device but typically if i charge it like to 100 percent you can see this was before on the previous watch os before i updated you can see midnight basically it stays overnight over on the charger and then by the time it's almost like um, 4 p.m it needs to be put back on the charger and at the same time if we go back and look at the maximum or the battery maximum health capacity right here you can see for this device it's on 82 percent so it's not the greatest and i believe this is the apple watch series 7 the 44 millimeter so you can see how my battery condition is i'll um, try and use this on a daily to see how battery life is on this new update of watchOS 10.6.1 and if there's any major improvement or any major issues that arise which is very rare then i'll definitely know so that's about it for me when it comes to a simple and a brief update on these two iOS 17.6.1 and watchOS 10.6.1. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.